You may have arrived here from a link from my main video about the old Wickham Sports Centre plant room, built in 1975, demolished 2016. Here I will go into more detail about how something works. It's not a long video, but my main aim is that you hopefully will learn something new in under two minutes. This video gives you an example of what the switches and lamps do on the cabinets. To see the main plant room video, click the cards that appear above or check the video description. Here is an example of a system that could be shown on the front panel. Inside the cabinets are control systems that switch high voltage electricity to plant equipment such as pumps. In the UK, this is three phase electricity at 415 volts. The control panel has lights and switches to be able to control each system. The panel controls the contactor. The contactor is connected to the plant equipment. In this example, it's a pump. Also connected are sensors. This one detects a healthy flow of water and this one stops the pump should the boiler go into an overheat condition. Let's switch it on. Our example here is water being pumped through a sand filter using a very simple design which may be closer to the original 1975 design and it's not computerized. Over time the sand filter clogs up with dirt particles in the water which causes a gradual flow loss. This is picked up by the water flow sensor which now signals a fault to the control panel. Inside the cabinet the motor is shut down and shows a fault on the panel. The procedure may call for a technician to backwash the sand filter which could be run by a different pump but this illustration is just an example. As the back filter is cleansed the flow sensor detects adequate water flow and the fault lamp is extinguished. Nowadays the whole system will be connected using sensors, inputs and outputs and managed by a computerized system. Okay. So I take it that's controlled all the plant equipment, all the yeah. pumps, all the motors. All the motors and everything like that. 